Good morning, St. Sebastian School. God is good all the time. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our loving Father, we give you thanks for the gift of our life, for the gift of this day, and for the gift of this week. We thank you also for the gift of our parents, our guardians, our brothers and sisters, our teachers, and all those who wish us well. As we go to listen to your word, open our ears and our heart so that we can be open to listen to you and to put into practice what we are going to hear today. And we do make our prayer through Christ, our Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is good all the time. Today we are going to hear the gospel from Mark 9, verses 2 to 10. And I read, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and went up on a high mountain where they could be alone. There, there in front of the disciples, Jesus was completely changed and his clothes became much whiter than any bleach on earth could make them. Then Moses and Elijah were there talking with Jesus. Peter said to, Je to Jesus, Teacher, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But Peter and the others were terribly frightened, and he did not know what he was talking about. The shadow of a cloud passed over and covered them. From the cloud, a voice said, This is my son, and I love him. Listen to what he says. At once the disciples looked around, but they saw only Jesus. As Jesus and his disciples were coming down the mountain, he told them not to say a word about what they had seen until the Son of Man had been raised from the dead. So they kept it to themselves, but they wondered what it meant by words raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good all the time. I know most of the time when you hear this gospel, it talk about the transformation. Changed. Jesus was fig transfigured and the disciples were transformed. What does that mean? Jesus himself, he never took all the disciples, but he only took with him Peter, John and James and went up the mountain by themselves to pray. And while there, Moses and Elijah appeared. And Peter, he said, Teacher, let us build three shelter, one for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for you. But Peter never understood what it meant, having Moses and Elijah. Moses himself represent the law, and Elijah represent the prophecy, meaning that Jesus is both of those, the law and the prophecy, meaning it has been fulfilled. And what does it mean, Jesus being transfigured? Jesus being changed? Remember this, Jesus was fully human and fully God. And his disciples yet could not understand the divinity of Jesus. And here he goes with three disciples, and this was revealed to them. They were able to see the divinity of Jesus, to see that it's also God. And that's why Moses and Elijah, they appeared to fulfill that to complete the law and the prophecy. But one thing we need to learn from this, the disciples themselves, Peter, 
John and James, they were transformed. Their thinking now was different. Before they went up the mountain, and then the time they saw Jesus being changed, they were transformed. And when they came down the mountain, they were never the same. And that's the purpose of Lenten season. Every time I do ask you to write down one of the vice that you want to work upon that keeps you away from God and others. And if at all you can be able to be doing that each and every year, you're going also to be transformed. You're going to be beloved son and daughter of God, just as what the voice said and who is God the Father was saying, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Even as the time we do the right thing, the time we listen to our parents, the time we listen to our teachers, the time we are able to do our homework or what we've been asked by, by our parents and our teachers, the time we log in for those who are back at home, the time you do the right thing, yes, your beloved son and daughter of God. And that's what we have been called. And that's the purpose of Lent to remind us who we are, that we are beloved sons and daughter of God by doing the right thing. Jesus himself, as son of God, did the will of God. And that's why God the Father said, listen to him. He's my beloved son. Listen to him. What about you and me? What is Jesus asking you? What is God asking you to do so that you can be the best son, you can be the best student, you can be the best daughter, you can be the best student? Doing the right thing. I would ask you, let this land be at length that is going to transform you to become a better person. Whereby each and every person want to be near you because of who you, you have become. And that's exactly what we have been asked. Think about last week we, we watched uh, the video or the news. One of our students from that grade, Python, doing the good work, transforming with her mother or what they are doing. And Python said she wants to raise even a thousand to help more people who are suffering. When she does that, she's doing the will of God. And she's becoming a beloved daughter of God. And it's not limited to her only, all of us. Not only, we are not being asked to do like what she did, but we can do something else. Being good to each other, in class, at home, being gentle, how we interact with our parents, our guardians, our foster parents. That's what we've been called, to be the best we can. We can transform this world. We can be transformed also. Being transformed, we can transform the world too. And that's the calling of each one of us. I still urge you to continue meditating. If at all you haven't written the vice that you want to work upon, and your teachers will help you what the vice means, those things that keeps us away from God and others. At the end of Lent and even beyond, we are going to be transformed and we are going to become the beloved sons and daughters of God. And for all those people who are celebrating their birthday this week, may the good Lord continue blessing you as you begin a new year in your life. And you become a blessing to all the people you are going to encounter or meet. And they become also a blessing to you. And the blessing of Almighty God be upon you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God is good all the time. Bye-bye.